Hi everyone, this is Diamond Peter here and this is my first floss tube. I thought I would do you floss tube today <coughs> um, because not everyone likes to watch diamond painting and the other way around not everyone likes to watch, watch cross stitch videos so I thought I would do them separate from now on um, unless I get one cross stitch with some diamond painting items and then I might show them but um, show the diamond paint, uh, the, sorry, the cross stitch then, but we'll see how we go. Um, but this is my first official floss tube. So I got some, uh, some diamond painting. See, I've got diamond painting on my head, at the, in my head at the moment. I got some cross stitch kits. <clears throat> now, two of them came from VIP cross stitch. The others I need to look up. And let you know where they came from because I've got no idea. I can't find where I ordered them from. I can't even remember which company now. I Yeah, I don't know. I will look it up and I'll let you know. So the first thing that I have that I'm going to show you is a, um, a really handy little thing. It looks like a lipstick case. I got one for my daughter as well, exactly the same. It's got like little cherry blossoms on it. You take the lid off it, so that's what it looks like. You wind it up, and as you can see, it's a needle holder. I think they are great. I really, really like them. Um, the only thing I would suggest maybe is putting a little, and I have seen someone else suggest this, put a little, um, one of those little poof balls or pom-poms that come with some of the kits in there because the needle can tend to go down. There's a couple of little holes in there. But that's really great. I love that. I love I love the way that um, it holds the needles because I, yeah, um, I get a bit funny about needles falling on the ground and the floor even though I don't have little kids. I just, yeah, obviously you don't want to get one in your foot. So... So that's great. I can't remember what I paid for that, but um, I'm going to get my mum one of those for a stocking filler for Christmas because she has needles as well. So that's great. I love that. Really good investment. <clears throat> and it wasn't very expensive. And there was other designs to choose from. Now, the first cross-stitch kit I'm going to show you. Um, I can't remember... See, I've opened this already and started it. Now I can't remember whether it was a Joy Sunday or not. I don't think it was. No, it's not because it didn't come with... I think it was a VIP cross stitch. No, it wasn't a VIP cross stitch either. Sorry, guys. I've thrown, I don't know what I've done with the bag. I undid this one and started and was going to start this one at Mum's. And I don't know what I've done with the bag. But this is the design. There's a number down there. I think that's the number. So it's this little Christmas tree and it's got little bears decorating the tree. You've got some candy canes, baubles, presents. Um, this little bears on a ladder with a scarf putting decorations on. <clears throat> There's a little tiny bird. I just thought it was nice. I thought it was cute for Christmas. Now I have never stitched on 11 count Ada before. So I got this in 11 count because I wanted to see, I wanted to get one in at least 11 count to see whether it's better for my eyes or not. Because with 11 count, obviously the holes are bigger and you need three strands, sorry, three fingers, three strands of cotton for 11 count, two strands for 14 count. So yeah, so this is an 11 count one. Now this is the sheet it comes with. It's sort of like a plasticky material but that's it it's um really easy to read um you've got your key down the side there's 29 colors there's a little tiny picture at the top there you've got the actual color down the side the dmc number the symbol and the thread number on the on the uh, on this cardboard thing so that's really really easy it's really clear I don't know if you can see it, but it's really clear to read. So um, and these are the colours it comes with. Lots and lots of beautiful colours. Um, it came with two needles. The needles were uh, put in the side of the material. That's the rest of the colours there. So lots of Christmassy 
Christmassy colours, pretty colours. So, and this is the, excuse the cotton on it because I, I was going to start it. I just haven't started it yet, but I've got my cotton ready. So this is the canvas. It's quite big. <clears throat> I was actually surprised at how big it, big it was. Um, it, it's a 40 by 50, so I should have guessed. But yeah, that's it there. Um, I've got my little nutcracker needle minder. There's a picture of the tree. And there's the 29 colours down the side. It doesn't have the actual colour on this one, but that's fine. Um, again, very clear. It's got some instructions down the bottom. It says the number there and 40 by 50. So yeah, that's um, there's a fair bit of colour blocking in this one, which is good. I'm going to start down here with the dark purple, which is this light green. So I'm going to start that one as soon as I finished here with you. Um, I tried to put it in my little bag that my daughter gave me last Christmas, my little sewing bag, but it's a bit big for the bag, but that's okay. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to sort of stick it in with it. It'll have a bit sticking out the top, but I'm not worried about that as long as I've got it in something to keep it clean. So that's the first one. The second kit is this one. It's looks like a Joy Sunday bag. I don't know whether it's Joy Sunday or yeah, I'm not sure. Again, it's pre-printed. It's called Hedgehog Chef. There's the number. It's 14 count this one, so two strands, and it's 17 by 20 centimeters, so not very big. But there's a lot of back stitch in this one, as you can see, to make the hedgehog and the bowl and everything stand out. But um, they also come with the instructions on these ones on the back, which is great. Because the pre-printed, if you don't know, uh, most of you probably already know, but pre-printed, you wash the canvas when you're finished and all the dye comes out of it. So all the uh, colouring and the lines and everything comes out of it. <clears throat> so this is your sheet. There's the picture. I thought it was cute. It'd be nice in a kitchen. Uh, we have 20 colours, so there's 19 full stitch, there's one French knot, and one back stitch. Patterns on the back, which I can't show you, but that's very clear, it's very good. This is the size, it's not very big, which is what I, I don't mind these sizes, you get them done pretty quickly. As you can see, it's very clear. Um, this chart does not match this, obviously. This has the colors. Sorry, I'm not being very clear. This has the colors and the DMC colors, but this one has the symbols and colors. This is not the color that it will be when you stitch it on these pre-printed ones. For example, let me see if I can find one. So let's have a look at this number 14. So, Number 14 is green, light green on here, but 14 on here is actually a grey. This sort of grey looks white, but it's a grey. So the colour won't match the chart. Um, they mainly give you this one, I think, as a guide um, in case you want to have a look at the number down the side and in case you want to redo this later on as a counted cross stitch, I guess. But yeah, these are quick and easy. There's a fair bit of colour blocking again in that one. <coughs> a little bit of confetti here, but not a lot. Um, it comes with two needles. <coughs> Sorry. Frog in my throat. Um, these are the colours. <coughs> so they're quite pretty. So that's that one. I'm not sure where that one came from. Again, I will find out and let you know. <coughs> Sorry, I just need a drink. Um, I will let you know where that one came from. The other one that came from <coughs> uh, VIP Cross Stitch was this one. <coughs> Pre-printed again. It's another little Christmas design. So you've got a hedgehog, 
decorating the tree. You've got the cat sitting with the present. The mouse is on the cat's head and the mouse is helping the bird put the star <coughs> on, the, sorry, on the top of the tree. It's called Christmas Gift. There's the number. Uh, 14 count, 28 by 28. So again, not very big. Instructions on the back. <coughs> oh, sorry, I've got a tickle. Can't shake that. Ah. So here we have the chart. We have uh, 28 colours in full stitch. We have half stitch in this one. And we have French knot. And we have back stitch. So a bit of everything in this one. Which is fine. You can see some of the back stitch around there. The half stitch looks like it's all on the ground here, which is good. There's the rest of the pattern there on its side. <coughs> and here's the pattern, so it's not very big. There's no little picture on this one, but that's okay. Um, looks fairly clear again. So with these ones, I do the, I'll do the full stitch. Then I will, um, instead of the French knots, I always put seed beads. So I'm going to see what colour that is and get <coughs> some seed beads. There's it, the heart. There's two half stitches, and the back stitch. Now I do my back stitch before I wash mine. I don't know what other people do, but I prefer to do mine before I wash the canvas so yeah I will put probably do the seed bead after I've washed it obviously because I don't want it to fall off um, this is the colors it comes with again two needles beautiful Christmas colors again so you've got some nice blues reds very soft threads purples and then over this side, <clears throat> got some more blues, greens, some like peachy colours, hot pink there, greys, a little bit of, that's not actually a black, I think that's a, um, that looks more like a charcoal, like a grey, what colour is that, 23, 23. Yeah, 3799. So it's um more of a grey, dark grey, it's not black. So that one's really pretty as well. I like that one. And then it's not very big, which is perfect. Again, I don't mind big ones, but <clears throat> I prefer the smaller, the smaller ones. Um so I can get them done a bit quicker. I tend to be a bit slower at cross tip. Um, the other one I got was, again, looks like a Joy Sunday bag. It's these three little birdies. I thought this was so cute. A lot of back stitch though. I didn't realise how much back stitch was in this one, but that's okay. It makes them stand out and look cute. It's called Three Birds Four. So I don't know whether, again, whether that means that there's four in the series or I don't know. There's the numbers. 14 count, 25 by 14. So again, it's not very big. long this one more than because it's a, obviously a long one <clears throat> so here's the picture it's cute I liked it so you can see there's a lot of back stitch which is fine as I said I don't mind the back stitch so we have 20 colors full stitch and we have five back stitch. So, and this is it. So it's only a little, it's not very big. It won't take long to stitch. Uh, the back stitch will just take a bit, bit more to do, but that's fine. So I'll get that done. So that's very cute. It's very clear. Um, two needles. And of course, Lots of browns. Um, that's sort of like an, a greeny, grey, white, 
and then over here we've got some grey blues, some more browns, tans, yeah, all those pretty colours, a little bit of black. I think the black must be for some of the back stitch. But yeah, I really like that one too. I love birds. <clears throat> love birds of any sort, really. So that one caught my eye, three baby birds. I thought that was sweet. The next one, now I'll show you that one in a minute. This one is a DIY cross stitch. I don't know if this one's going to turn out. It's a Disney characters. It's shaped in the Mickey's head. When I look at the canvas, I can make Mickey out, but not anything else. I don't know, being cross-stitched, whether it will turn out or whether it's still not quite big enough. Um, what I will do for this one, because you have to cross-stitch all the background, I would tend to do the, <coughs> the Mickey's head first. And if it doesn't turn out, then I wouldn't probably go any further with it because oh, there's not really much point, I suppose. It depends how it looks, but um, we've got this shiny instructions. It's very small. I'd have to photocopy that because, yeah, the symbols all sort of running into each other. It's not very, and it's clear, but it's just not big enough for my eyes. We have 25 colours. It's got a little tiny picture there. It's a 40 by 40. There's the number. Um, comes with a little with a little kit. So you get a little poof ball with five needles, a little thimble and a, and a um, needle threader. <coughs> it comes with, oh, it comes with two more needles. I didn't see those. Two more needles. So that's seven needles all up. And this is it. So I can make Mickey out in the middle. Um, the, it comes with a little thumbnail, but I can't see anything on that except Mickey in the middle, just. Um, very clear down the side, symbols. The canvas itself is very clear, but I just don't know whether those little Disney pictures are going to show up in this one on cross stitch or not. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I would probably tend to start with Mickey. I would do him first. And then I'll work on some of the where the other characters are and just see whether it's worth continuing with it or, or not. Because I don't know whether it's just going to be one big jumble of colour and you can't really make anything out. Or I'm not doing this background if it's not going to. You wouldn't even have to do the background if you didn't want to. You could just do the Mickey's head and wash it and frame it as it is. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> don't know how that one's going to turn out. I'm hoping it will because I, I really like it. It's a lovely picture, but I just, yeah, don't know. I'm going to leave that kit out because I need that needle threader. Put that back in the bag later. And the last one <coughs> for this haul is a, another Disney one. Now, I think this one will be okay. I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can find a better picture for you. I think this is awful. Oh, it's actually better in the camera than it is. To me, that is so blurry. I can't see anything on that just looking at the sheet. But in the camera, it's actually clear, fairly clear. Um, you've got Bambi. You've got, um, I think it's Ariel Stitch. I don't know. Dumbo. I don't know all the characters. I think that's Alice. But... Yeah, um, Rapunzel, I'm assuming. It looks like one of the dwarves from Snow White. But yeah, it looks a bit clear in the camera. But yeah, I don't know how this one's going to turn out either. But Again, you can just do the Mickey. You don't have to do the background if you don't want to. Comes with the instructions on here. It's made of that plastic stuff again. There's the chart. It has 40 colours which is a good lot of colours. That's the chart. Um, it looks very clear. This one's very big, very clear. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm hoping this one turns out. I like this one better than the other one, but we shall see. See what happens. So, this is the canvas. We've got 
little tiny picture, but you can't see anything because of the dots. It's a 40 by, sorry, 40 by 45. There's a number there. Um, 11 count. Oh, this is 11 count too. Oh, that's why the holes are so big. I thought I only ordered one 14, uh, one 111 count. Oh, well, that's okay. I don't mind. We'll see how I go. But um, I think this one might be okay. I'm hoping. Again, I will do the middle, and if it doesn't turn out, I'm not going to do the outside. Yeah, we'll see. See what happens. So, <clears throat> I'll show you the colours. They come in a separate bag, which is cool. Sorry for the rubbish. So we've got, oh, lots and lots of this background green, hanks of green. That's 890, so there's four, four of those separate ones, spare ones. Oh, there's some pretty colours in this one. Beautiful. It's got two, there's two cardboard pieces. So this one, oh, well, hang on, we're tangled up here, guys, sorry. So this one has four colours on it. So there's two greens, a very light tanny colour and a, and that's a bit of an off white, it doesn't look like white. And then, <coughs> and then all these beautiful colours. So blues and pinks, um, mint greens, very pale pink there. That's a tanny colour, blues, burgundy, that's a rust. And then, oh, look at that bright orange. Wow, that's bright. Next to that yellow. Got a dark blue on the end there. That's sort of very pale pink again. It's not a white. You've got a little bit of black. Pale blue is pretty there too. Plum colour. Yeah, so that's going to be very colourful, that one. Very nice. So, I think that's all the cross-stitch stuff that I have for my first floss tube. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these kits. I'm going to look forward to stitching them um as i said my the first one i'm going to stitch is that first one i showed you the um the christmas tree i'm going to start that one today i've been looking forward to starting a christmas one so i'm going to start that one and uh yeah i've never as i said i've never stitched on 11 count ada before so that will be um interesting for me to try um i think it'll be okay um I just got to remember to use three strands because you, when you've used stitched on 14 count Ada for so long, you forget um, and you just automatically put two strands through the needle. So I'm going to have to remember to use three strands for 11 count. Um, but other than that, that's, that's about it for the first floss tube. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I will probably have some more cross stitch kits coming. Don't know when. Um, I'm trying to have a bit of a stash so that I can do some giveaways. Um, my channel, my little channel's growing a little bit, so I'd like to give some giveaways. Um, I'd also like to just have some on hand, but on standby for when I, you know, want to swap it up a bit. And, um, for instance, I'll do this one before Christmas, this Christmas tree one, but after Christmas, um, obviously I'll probably get into maybe, I don't know, what's the next holiday after Christmas? New Year probably won't be any good. Probably Valentine's Day. I don't know. I haven't got anything for Valentine's Day. I might just start something like the, the one for the kitchen. Um, I've got to finish my <coughs> gardener's teapot, which I am also in the middle of finishing. I've got a little bit more to go on it yet. And I've got this one that I want to get finished as well. Sorry, I've got cotton all over it. Um, this is a hot air balloon one. So I've done all this air balloon here. I've done a bit up here. I've done a bit around here. And I'm, I've done some of the pink in here. 
um, but that's the hot air balloon one that I started earlier on in the year. I'd like to try and get that one finished as well. Um, it's called the Illusions, uh, the Illusion of Hot Air Balloons. Um, there's a number. It's 14 count. I'm not sure the size. There's no size on it, but yeah. So I'll get around to finishing that one as well, I suppose. But that's about it for today for floss tube, my first floss tube. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will be back very soon to show you some progress hopefully on my Christmas tree stitch and next time I will show you the progress on my garden teapot um, I think I've got it here just to show you the picture this is it garden teapot um, it's a joy Sunday kit <clears throat> and I've done down the bottom here I've done the door um, and I've started doing some of the little rabbits I'm just sort of picking a colour and yeah, here we go. I like this one, it's quite cute. So I beehive up the top. So yeah, um <clears throat> I will be back again soon. Take care, please like, subscribe, and um I'll see you all very soon on my diamond painting channel. Bye guys.